panda, panda, panda. I got broads in Atlanta, Gigi the lean in the family. Credit cards in the scammers, hitting the licks in the van. Legacy. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know what time it is. It's your boy C to the U to the B to the A. And I'm actually in a house today. Yeah, the neighbor's house. Broke into it while they were sleeping. Stole a couple of things. Took some money out of their wallet. I gotta buy more stuff. The new job ain't cutting it. Just kidding. I finally got a space super early in the morning. Hopefully I won't wake anybody up, but chances are I'm gonna get fucked over. Y'all fuckers missed me, didn't you? Should I start daily vlogging or something? I've been thinking about this lately and I really want your guys' feedback. I've been thinking of walking around with a camera and trying to become famous like Casey Neistat or any of these other dudes making millions of bucks. I think my life is a little interesting. Leave your comments below. I want to see if you fuckers would be interested in me doing a daily vlog. Or at least a couple of days a week. Hmm. Always thinking of a hustle. Anyway, today I'm bringing you a comparison video of two fragrances. One that I actually own and one that I have a sample of. One is niche and the other one is cheap as fuck. Let's get into it and see what you guys think, shall we? Let's go. The first fragrance we're going to review is the niche one. And it's from our homies over at Creed. And that's Creed's Silver Mountain Water. Sorry you can't see it. I'm a camera newbie and I don't know how to focus this damn thing. Life's tough. The second fragrance is Al Rahab Silver. Let's see if we can get this something in here. Camera Newbie, Al Rahab Silver. Both of these fragrances are really fresh, very aquatic, have a lot of similarities to it, but they're not 100% clones. I'll tell you that right off the back. Let's start with Silver Mountain Water. Boom, Silver Mountain Water. I'm gonna put it on my left wrist and we'll walk through it together and see what we think. All right? Love me, don't ya? Silver Mountain Water. Let's air it out a little bit. Right off the back you get the citrus. Just a punch of citrus in your face. And the aquatic freshness. That's exactly what I get right off the opening. Citrus, citrus, citrus. I just squeeze the lemon and lime in your face. Citrus and aquatic. I just got my nipples sprayed by ocean water. My chest and my ass and genitals. And I fell down the stairs and my shoes fell off. That's what I'm feeling. It's nice. In the background, you got a little muskiness, kind of a little funky. It's not crazy, but it's a little funky. It's kind of like, kind of like the back of a fat dude's neck. Fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. Take it off, dickhead. I'm serious. Richard, what's happening? A handsome fat dude, nevertheless. As a former fat dude, we have those. Yeah, right now I'm just getting citrus, uh, aquaticness, and a little funky musk in the opening. Let's try Al Rahab Silver and see what we're working with. A little, a little popping sound. Jesus. The sprayer's good. Just sprayed everything in my house. Shit. Flap it. Ugh. It smells like Bigfoot's dick. Oh. Okay. Our Rahab Silver on the opening. Synthetic as shit. It's very rubbery. On the opening, it's weird. It's citrusy. You see the citrus trying to bust through, but you got this synthetic rubbery, I don't know what the fuck you call it. It's, it's a little harsh on the opening. I'm not going to lie. It's mellowing out a little bit, but the syntheticness is just a little overpowering. My personal opinion is if you're going to rock Al Rahab Silver, spray it in your house and wait a little bit before you go outside and let it die down because you're gonna get this rubbery, synthetic, it, it kind of smells like you're chewing on rubber bands and you've been you know, like chewing on rubber bands and a citrus bubble gum at the same time. That's what I'm getting on the opening. It does die down, but 
it's taken its sweet time to die down. Now it's changing a little bit into a more of a musky, stinky smell like, like the Silver Mountain water. On the opening, I want to say comparison-wise, they're a good 70%. Let's let them dry down a little bit and see what happens. Alright, a couple minutes have passed by and I let both of them dry down so we can get a comparison here of, of the bottom end and see what we're working with. Silver Mountain water first. All right, it's definitely changed up. The bottom of it is uh, more, it's still citrusy, but it's smoother, it flows, it's, it's, it opened up. She got mature in the little bit of time that you let her rock out. You still get the aquaticness, you get the muskiness that doesn't smell like feet anymore. You get the citrus, which vibe, you know, it's very vibrant and opens up. And it's what you want from this Creed fragrance, what you expect, especially when you're spending $300 or 180 or 200 dollars aka more than any of us want to spend it's very summery it's also one of those fragrances that you want to let just chill let it marinate for a minute and then let her do its work it's very nice now let's go to Al Rahab Al Rahab also has calmed down but it's still got that funky musky note it's still pretty prominent to me the citrus has come up and it has woken up. But all I'm getting is more citrus and musk. I get the freshness, but not as much Silver Mountain water. There's still a good amount of musk that's right on borderline of a little funky and sexy. It's really right in the middle. Side to side comparison, I want to give these two maybe 80%. It's a strong 80% comparison. Considering that Al Rahab Silver is like $10. It's a 35 mil, right? Yeah, it's a 35 mil and it's an eau de perfume, so the shit lasts. It's $10. Why not keep this little fucking bottle in your stash for the summer? Give it a shot. Silver Mountain Water, like I said, is over $180, at least. Come on, 80%, I'll take 80% for $10. I know you would take 80% for $10. Let's try to save some money, people, and send it to me. Thank you, motherfuckers, for watching. As far as the giveaway is concerned, next week, we doing it. Next week, I'm announcing a winner. Again, if they choose to be announced, I'll announce it on the vlog. If they don't, I gotta respect their privacy. Either way, next week, I'm choosing a winner. One of you motherfuckers is gonna get a little gift from me just to say thank you for all the love and support y'all been providing to me. Y'all are sexy, and you need to be part of this sexy family. Invite more people to come see this sexiness, and let's just make a big orgy. Wow, what does that mean? Wait, no. No, 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 not that. A big family. Family, family's better. That's, that's cleaner, safer, sanitary. I love you motherfuckers, from the heart. I'll see y'all next week. We'll be announcing the winner next week. I'm by winning. Winning. And... Smooches!